Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 31st Annual West Point Military Tattoo on the grounds of the historic United States Military Academy at West Point, New York. Since 1977, the United States Corps of Cadets, Pipes and Drums have hosted bands from the Hudson Valley and Tri-State area to enjoy a spring afternoon full of music, tradition, and pageantry. We welcome you to share this day with us and hope you enjoy your time as our guests. Please feel free to wander the grounds of Trophy Point and the United States Military Academy. If you require any information, please check in with our information table at, on top of the hill next to the Trophy Monument. And if you're looking for refreshments, please check with our concession stand located next to the Trophy Point Monument. If you require the use of a restroom, they're located, uh, they'll be located in the ODIA uh, building, which is directly behind the bullpen area to uh, my right and your left. My name is Major Jared Nichols, and this is Cadet Devin Crony and Cadet Connor Woods. We will be your Master of Ceremonies team for the 31st Annual West Point Tattoo. The Hellcats, an assembly, an assembly comprised of buglers and ornamental drummers from West Point Band, has played an influential role in over 220 years of musical tradition at the United States Military Academy. Their legend began early in the American Revolution, when units of George Washington's Continental Army, including fifers and drummers, established the garrison of West Point in January of 1778. Following the Revolution, West Point remained an active federal garrison upon the formal establishment of the United States Military Academy in 1802. The Hellcats mission today is provided to provide musical support to the United States Corps of Cadets. In addition to sounding reveling and retreat at the Garrison Fly Bowl, the, Hel the Hellcats perform a myriad ceremonial functions including military views and parades. Each weekday they provide music as the cadets march into the mess hall. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the Hellcats under the direction of Sergeant Major Eric Scheffler. before you today is the United States Military Academy Band's Field Music Group, the Hellcats. The Hellcats are the Army's only remaining field music group, and they trace their origins clear back to the days of General George Washington, when, in 1778, he established this garrison at West Point, here along the Hudson River, and in doing so, he also assigned a fifer and drummer for signaling in camp. Since those days, the sounds of fifes and drums, and later on the introduction of the bugle, have been a regular part of cadet life here at West Point. The role of the field musician is one of function. Today, representing the position of the duty bugler, Staff Sergeant Chris Venditti from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, will perform many of the various calls and signals essential to a military lifestyle. Today's ceremony started with the sounding of tattoo, a bugle call that was used to tell the troops that it was time to extinguish their lights and that all noises and talking were to cease within 15 minutes. The next signal you heard was first call, also known as assembly of the buglers and familiar to many of us from call to the post at the horse races. This alluded the buglers and anyone within earshot that the day was about to start. Finally, you just heard reveille, the signal that the workday had begun. Today, reveille and retreat ceremonies still take place at the flagpole and in central area amongst the cadets. The Hellcats are West Point's premier drill and ceremony group. 
They are expected to perform their duties with the highest level of perfection and attention to detail. Oftentimes, a Hellcat can be seen standing motionless in a formation or at a ceremony, making no unnecessary movements in order to embody the Army's ideal example of discipline to the cadets, troops, and to the American public. This level of discipline is more than one man or woman can attain on their own. It requires constant checking and attention to detail in all situations. As the group leader of the Hellcats, Sergeant Major Eric Scheffler is responsible for their appearance and presentation. Watch now as Sergeant Major Scheffler performs an inspection of his troops, ensuring these high standards are indeed being met. Okay, okay, so you're going to sound inspection. <laughs> ceremony are an important part of Army life. The purpose of drill is to enable a commander or non-commissioned officer to move his unit from one place to another in an orderly manner, to aid in disciplinary training by instilling habits of precision and response to the leader's orders, and to provide for the development of all soldiers in the practice of commanding troops. Clear, concise communication is essential to ensure that soldiers know what they must execute. The Hellcats will now demonstrate this type of refinement in marching and try to exemplify the ideas of not only good discipline, but also what it means to be a true leader of character. Listen and watch as Sergeant Major Scheffler relays commands to his duty bugler, and then they are carried out by the Hellcats. Bugler, sound attention.
checkpoint band is comprised of the largest body of non-commissioned officers here at the United States Military Academy. Coming from all over this nation, the West Point Band is one of the Army's premier bands, and as such, it recruits only the best musicians that our nation has to offer. Immediately when they arrive at West Point, the newest members are expected to set the example of the non-commissioned officers to the United States Corps of Cadets. Many of our players have studied at conservatories and the best schools all throughout the country and embody the idea of technical expertise that is expected of the non-commissioned officer corps. From Elkton, Michigan, Staff Sergeant Jeremy Wiesner, and from Bellevue, Missouri, Staff Sergeant Brian McKinney will now demonstrate this expertise to you utilizing a valveless bugle. With only a handful of notes available to them, both of these experts will demonstrate the virtuosic possibilities of the bugle when put in the hands of a master. These five drummers represent the world's best practitioners of rudimental drumming. With complicated stickings and lightly fast hand movements, these drummers are expected to ex execute their rudiments in unison, both in appearance and in sound. They are the Army's elite drumming practitioners. Please welcome the Hellcat Drummers.
While these displays of virtuosity are a necessity to demonstrate the ideals of a non-commissioned officer, those technical skills are mastered so that they can be almost ignored by the listener. At times, the bugler and the drummer are there not to be praised or applauded, but to act as a representative of the United States Army in solemn ceremonies. The playing of taps over a long drum roll is the final tribute to a man or woman who has served this great nation. It is the strength of the bugle and the drum that creates such a contrast when played in a reflective manner. The bugle call, last post, is another such call. This call was used as an inspection call. A commander would leave camp and inspect the various posts surrounding that camp. When he had inspected the perimeter of the camp, the last signal, last post, would be sounded, telling the men that all was safe for the night and that could rest easy in their tents and on their bed mats. During wartime, last post took on another function. Oftentimes, men would become separated from their units during an intense battle. When the battle ended, last post was used to signal to those that were still out or wounded or separated that fighting was done and that to follow the sound of the call, they could return to safety and to rest. provide a glimpse for you into what life might have been like in General George Washington's time, through Grant's time, Eisenhower's time, and even today at the Military Academy, if somebody had looked at you and said, you're in the Army now. special tribute. In order to do that, to say thanks, we'd like to bring to the microphone Sergeant First Class Jeff Prosper. Good morning. The Hellcats began their relationship with the United States Corps of Cadets Pipes and Drums 40 years ago, and we'd like to acknowledge the origins of that relationship. We'd like to honor an individual this morning whose selfless service and generous donation of time and talent helped form the cadet for 40 years ago, the cadet pipes and drums. This individual is retired Master Sergeant Ken McLeod. He's standing up, Sergeant Major Shelton presented him with a plaque. And this individual generously donated drum lessons, supplies, ran rehearsals, established the logistics and performance standards of the um, first year of the cadet's pipes and drums. And on top of that, he was a father of eight, so time was not a commodity. 
So uh, we really appreciate this former group leader of the Hellcats, Master Sergeant Retired Ken McLeod. On behalf of the West Point Band and the Hellcats, we thank you for having us here today. It will be a retreat ceremony tonight, 1800, look forward at the flagpole. Come visit us again.